Hey everybody, Chris here, welcoming you back to another product tech tip. And for this week, I'm gonna dive back into the world of CNC machining and talk specifically about adding grooves to your designs to incorporate O-ring gaskets. So let's get into it. So at Protocase and Protospace MFG, we have the capability to bring your machined parts to life with ultra-fast lead times. That includes adding any customizations that you might require, such as cutouts, surface finishes, and graphics. Now before we dive into our topic today, creating grooves for O-rings, let's just chat about O-ring gaskets in general. O-rings are popular for sealing enclosures and components from things like dust, moisture, and other contaminants. You'll often find them on shafts of round parts too. They're widely used because they're effective, economical, and really easy to install. At Protocase, we team up with some of the greatest third-party suppliers to add O-ring gaskets to your custom enclosures. During the quoting process, your account manager will let you know the pricing and lead time for the specific O-ring gasket needed for your design. Now, we actually have an older prototype tip that goes into detail about the O-rings, so if you are interested, I'll drop a link in the description below. Now, O-rings require a continuous groove that matches their length, with walls and a floor shape to fit them properly. So when you are creating these grooves, it's going to be important to think about these dimensions. The grooves width and depth must allow for proper O-ring compression, while its width should also accommodate the O-ring for room with potential expansion due to any thermal or pressure changes. Now you do not want to design a groove that is too shallow as this might lead to over compression. Also uneven surfaces can cause leaks and then miscalculating these tolerances could then lead to O-ring extrusion or even failure. A general guideline is that the width of the groove for static seals should be 1.5 times the cross-section diameter of the O-ring. Now CNC machining is especially helpful when you need precision as it lets you achieve really tight tolerances. Now as with all things, when you're making machined grooves, a good tip is to use rounded edges to prevent damaging the O-ring. Also make sure that the inside of the groove has a smooth finish to help the seal last longer. Groove design is also heavily influenced by the type of seal that you're going to use. For stationary components, you'll go with a static seal, but if there's movement between the sealing surfaces, a dynamic seal is going to be the way to go. Now, if you are using a static seal, design the groove for minimal movement and focus on consistent compression. Now, on the other hand, a fine surface finish can really help reduce friction and wear for dynamic seals. Also, keep the installation process in mind during the design phase. Make sure that the groove design allows for easy installation of the O-ring without too much stretching or twisting. Now don't forget, prototyping and testing are going to be key to make sure that your groove design and your O-ring works as planned. You're gonna to wanna to run tests in simulated or even real life conditions to confirm that the enclosure meets the sealing requirements. Now at Protocase and Protospace MFG, our fast lead times let you test out different prototypes quickly so that you can get your final product to market even faster. Now, while this was a quick overview of designing grooves for O-rings, if you are looking to dive deeper into the topic, there are some great resources and interactive calculators available online. We're gonna drop links to those resources in the description below. Now, before wrapping up this video, I want to mention that we do have rugged, watertight aluminum die cast enclosures in stock. They do come with the ideal groove required for fitting, and they're already tested for protection against dust and water. It's worth noting that these enclosures feature a one-piece silicone rubber gasket that's flat on the bottom and rounded on top. Now remember, if you need a hand with designing your custom enclosures, just reach out to your account manager as they are here to help you out. And that wraps up this week's Prototective video. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for future tech tips. Until then, take care.